Halloween boys and girls. And if there's one thing which Halloween is most famous for, it's probably pumpkin carving. Now, I know what you're thinking. James, this is not a pumpkin. This is a watermelon. And trust me, I thought that too when I got it. Honestly, October 31st just crept up on me. This will have to make do. But you know what? I don't mind the, the green. I think we could probably make use of it. I probably haven't carved a pumpkin in about three or four years. I actually can't remember the last time I did it. I'm not sure why, I just haven't done it in ages. This is the first time I've got my own, and honestly, I'm not very good with my hands, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Obviously, this isn't your normal pumpkin. This is a green, strange pumpkin, but we're gonna use that to our advantage and try and make something which is green and also scary. So I had to have a think about what I should carve it into. I decided on, of course, because it's me, to do an alien. I guess aliens are kind of to do with Halloween. I mean, I went as one last year and they're kind of scary, you know? You know what I mean? And also aliens are green, so it works perfectly. Uh, honestly, I just couldn't think of anything else. But an alien will do fine and we're gonna make one awesome alien. But first, we need to clean the table. There is not enough room to do pumpkin carving. Plus, I don't wanna get everything she was mad now we've got the lovely table set up I need to get my supplies to actually carve the pumpkin and that is of course a bowl a spoon a big knife an even bigger knife and a small knife with this, I should be up and a pen. Got it, nice. Okay, and now with all my equipment, I should be able to carve my alien pumpkin, which I am also excited to do. Without further ado, let's get going. I think the first thing we need to do is draw on the bit which we're gonna cut out, and obviously the design. So, I need my pen. Now, I don't know how much needs to come off. I don't think a lot. I mean, like, I guess my hand needs to go through to put the candle in, but I don't think it needs, like, loads. I don't know, like I said, I haven't done this in ages. This pen smudges. No, it will come off. I need a new pen. Right, good, nice. Let's just draw a circle round the top. Right, I've drawn the top bit on. I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Now I need to pick a side to do the face. I'm kind of digging. We'll go here and we'll stop to draw the alien face. Can you know like the classic alien face with the, with the big eyes? I should give it a mouth. I don't know if my cutting skills will be as good as I want them to be to do that, but we'll see. Let's just do it. I think I have a good design. I know you can't really see here, but there you go. I wish I could do cool, awesome, fancy things with pumpkins, but honestly, like I said, I'm not very good at this. Now we have done the drawing. It is finally time to start cutting out the pumpkin and then spooning out all its insides. Let's go. I don't know how I should do this. I just start like this. My camera's shaking now. Yeah, it's not thick enough. I don't know if I like the smell of pumpkins or not. It's a weird smell. Oh, wait! I need to keep the top. I shouldn't be throwing it away like this, because I need to put it back on. Okay, that's fine. I haven't really done too much damage, but I'm just going to do a clean sweep. Let me try another one. Honestly, if this turns out to be the absolute worst pumpkin you have ever seen, I wouldn't be surprised because, Jesus Christ, I'm not good at this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my god. Okay, there's something wrong with this pumpkin. It shouldn't look like this inside, should it? That doesn't look like a pumpkin, though. Pumpkins should be hollow. It sounds hollow. Maybe I just haven't cut further enough. I didn't know if that's right. Let me get my spoon. I don't think it's gonna work. Green pumpkin mean that it's like moldy? It doesn't feel moldy. Okay, the inside is looking a bit softer. 
I might be just completely stupid and this is like what all pumpkins are like, but I don't know, I seem to remember them being more, you know, easier to, easier to get into. I don't know. It looks okay. It looks okay inside. That's not okay. Can you eat raw pumpkin? I guess you can, because it's like a vegetable. I don't actually think I like pumpkin that much. Like, pumpkin pie sounds disgusting. I know it's a thing on Minecraft, but like, who actually makes pumpkin pie on Minecraft? The insides are actually coming out, which is good. It means that we can actually go ahead with our plan to carve a pumpkin this year. Right, I think I've finished carving out my pumpkin. It did actually work and it does look good. And it might need a bit of touching up to do. You can't really see, but it actually does look pretty, pretty cool. Right, so <laughs> now we've got the pumpkin cut out. It's time to actually carve the alien face into it. I'm just gonna start off by getting the back of the knife like this, slowly making like an outline or something. I just made a massive cut through the pumpkin. I don't know if any light will get through it. I'm just gonna pray that it doesn't. We have <laughs> oh my God. the first eye out. That is like the most square eye. Jesus Christ. This looks really bad. Maybe this video wasn't such a good idea. Actually, no, it was, because next year, surely it can't get any worse than this. The other eye will go here. Pumpkin is going everywhere. I feel like you need very particular tools to do this. <laughs> I'm only equipped with this big knife. It's, it's just not going well. Maybe next year I should do a bit more research. I don't think it's gone very well. That's what it looks like. It could be an owl, you know? People could say, look at that owl, and I would be like, you know what, you're right. It's not supposed to look like an owl, so... That is the first eye done. We're gonna do the other eye now, here. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look just as good as the first one. And let's go. It seriously doesn't look like an alien. <laughs> it's almost breaking at all. Okay, let's just get this out now. Okay, and... <laughs> This actually looks like an owl. I might just turn this into an owl. Look. It kind of looks like a heart as well. It needs more touching up on both sides. I wish I could say it looked like an alien, but it doesn't. I need to just touch it up a bit here because they're both a bit in evil. I'm quite excited to see how this will actually turn out. Let's just get all of that. <laughs> I've just realized one is way bigger than the other. Look at that one. Probably had a long mouth, a big long mouth. Aliens, they can look like whatever they want to look like. Even if it doesn't look like what I had in my head, it doesn't matter because it's an alien and they can look like anything. I'm gonna give it little teeth using the technique 
on, I did on the eyes, where you only go over half or something. I'm gonna give it like a row of teeth on the top. Maybe it will look good. Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna take out the mouth. There's the mouth gone. Right, <laughs> it's like a pineapple. Now I need to try and just take away half of the teeth. but there's a gap there where the mouth is and then the teeth on top. <laughs> I don't know what this is now. I'm gonna add slits in the teeth to see if the light will shine through. I just broke the pumpkin. Oops. <laughs> right, okay, that's that. I don't think it will look that good because there's too big of a hole. The, the eyes are too big, okay? And it will mean too much light gets through, which means it will just be too bright. <laughs> and I think we're done. Let's have a look at my finished pumpkin to see if it did actually turn out okay or not. So this is what my pumpkin looks like. I have to admit, it looks terrible. I will try again next year to make a cooler looking alien. This has been a disaster, but I have had a lot of fun and I hope you have too. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, have a great Halloween and stay spooky everybody.